So, of course, we all know that Donald Trump is refusing to concede and probably will not concede um, ever in any formal capacity. But his refusal to concede is morphing into something a lot more different and much more delusional to the extent that his administration currently is taking steps to plan as if he will still be in government come February, come 2021. Uh, so first of all, the White House is currently blocking the formal transition process from taking place. This is uh, very petty, but nonetheless, you know, I guess that this goes kind of in line with his facade that they're trying to still win by invalidating these illegal votes and yada yada. Also, his administration is suing in Pennsylvania to stop them from certifying the election results, which would solidify Biden's victory. So, of course, this move prolongs this grift that they're trying to do. And finally, the Washington Post is reporting that Trump's White House is instructing federal agencies to prep Trump's budget proposal for 2021. Now, usually these budget proposals, they aren't released until February of each new year. So why are we preparing a fiscal budget proposal for Donald Trump when he's not going to be president come 2021? He will be the president until noon of January 20th. But after that, it's over. So what are we doing here? Now, I understand exactly what Trump and the Republican Party is trying to do. This is basically a grift. They are trying to raise funds from their supporters to pay down their campaign debt. This is all about money. Trump formed a brand new super PAC, and he's trying to make sure that he has some sort of control, at least monetarily, over the Republican Party when he leaves. So we know that what they're doing, this whole facade that, oh, well, we can still win. This is just a ploy to dupe his supporters into giving their campaign more money. However, there's a difference between refusing to concede and pretending as if you're not going to go anywhere. Because then we move away from, oh, well, you're just bitter to, okay, are, are we talking about a coup? Is that what you're trying to propose? Because Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was asked about the election results. And what he said is, um, I don't know if he's being serious, but nonetheless, it's still incredibly shocking. Uh, is the State Department currently preparing to engage with the Biden transition team? And if not, at what point does a delay hamper a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security? There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. All right, we're, we're ready. The, the world is watching what's taking place here. We're going to count all the votes. When the process is complete, there'll be electors selected. There's a process. The Constitution lays it out pretty clearly. The world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful with the president who's in office on January 20th, a minute afternoon, will also be successful. I went through a transition on the front, and I've, I've been on the other side of this. I'm very confident that we will uh, do all the things that are necessary to make sure that the, the government, the United States government, will continue to perform its national security function as we go forward. So you believe there's widespread voter fraud, that the reports that we're getting from Pennsylvania, from Michigan, showing vote totals and massive leads or significant leads with 99 percent reporting are going to be overturned and that the United States failed to conduct a fraudulent free election? Rich, I'm the Secretary of State. I'm getting calls from all across the world. These people are watching our election. They understand that we have a legal process. They understand that this takes time. Right, it took us 37 plus days in an election back in 2000. We conducted a successful transition then. I'm very confident that we will count and we must count every legal vote. We must make sure that any vote that wasn't lawful ought not be counted. That dilutes your vote if it's done improperly. We've got to get that right. When we get it right, we'll get it right. We're, 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 we're in good shape. Should foreign leaders right. not be calling we're, we're, we're President elect Biden? Who's next? Yeah. What are you doing? What are we doing here? He just casually said, we're not going to go anywhere. That's basically what he said. There will be a peaceful transition into a second Trump administration. Are we talking 2025, assuming he's able to successfully run again? Because when it comes to uh, January 21st of 2021, Trump's out. So what are you talking about? And you see, there's a difference between refusing to concede and 
trying to stage a coup. Because if it were as simple as, oh, well, you know, Mike Pompeo, he's just trying to play along with what Trump and other Republicans are doing. They all know that the writing is on the wall. So they're trying to pretend as if Joe Biden isn't actually the president-elect and they're trying to continue this grift. But he would have said something else if that were the case. He would have said, well, look, uh, we'll see that there is a peaceful transfer of power if Joe Biden wins. But currently, you know, there's a legal battle and we're trying to make sure that all legal votes are counted. He would have said something like that. But what he just said was that, oh, well, we're trying to do a coup. That's what he said. Now, I don't know if he was being serious, but he casually just stated, we're not going anywhere. They lost the election and they're saying, no, there's going to be a second Trump administration but you lost. So the only way that that's going to be the case is if you cling to power forcefully. So is that what we're talking about here? Do we actually have to start talking about whether or not this is a soft coup? Because you are using the language that you would use in the event you are actually trying to start a coup. Now, uh, Gina Haspel met with Mitch McConnell. She's the CIA director, and they had a closed door 20 minute meeting. So are you guys like trying to figure out what to do uh, if Trump doesn't concede, like how you're going to move away from Donald Trump, distance yourself from him, or are you trying to do what you can to actually have Trump hang on to power? Like, what exactly are we talking about here? Mike Pompeo knows that it's over for Donald Trump. Everything that he says publicly is very different than what he's probably saying secretly. So he knows that it's over. But what he just said as Secretary of State was that we're not going anywhere, even though Joe Biden won. This party does not care about democracy at all. If you truly, you know, consider yourself a patriotic American, a Trump supporter, and you're one of those weirdos who wears, like, American flag track suits, how can you see what's happening and consider this American? You have a president who is not only refusing to concede, but now they are taking active steps to continue their own administration, coming up with a fiscal budget proposal, saying we're going to stay in power. There's going to be a second Trump administration after he lost. So, I mean, you can only prolong the results and delay using these lawsuits as much as you want. But come January 21st of 2021, Trump will, will no longer be president. So if Mike Pompeo is seriously saying that um, we're not going anywhere, even though we lost this election, that is very serious. He's basically admitting that this is a soft coup. We invade other countries for less. We overthrow regimes for doing less. So is this just, you know, him playing into Donald Trump's temper tantrums? Or is he actually saying, we're not going to go anywhere? I mean, this is very serious. Like, it's hard to take these clowns seriously because I think it's pretty apparent that this is a grift to raise money for Donald Trump's campaign debt. But still, I mean, regardless if they're taking this seriously or not, even if Mike Pompeo is half serious there, it's still extremely dangerous. You're saying that you're going to remain in power even though you lost this election? So we're just going to convert to a straight dictatorship? What are we doing? Mike is a total loser. So don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.